if you stand back 20 years, which is only a small bit of my life, 20 years ago Nelson Mandela became president. And when he became president, the world was very different, both politically in South Africa, but in the world of technology. So in the 20 years since Mandela became president, we've seen the World Wide Web appear. We've seen cell phones appear, GPS, digital cameras, smartphones, Facebook, Twitter, all of this stuff didn't even exist 20 years ago. And even a visionary person 20 years ago couldn't have foreseen where we are now and what we do with digital technology. The limit is limited by our imagination. And I really believe that. I think that the way we have gone and the way we've innovated in this um, digital world. And I have to say that the digital world is not only software, it's now this combination of hardware, software, and content. Um, more and more devices, more and more things that we use in our daily life, be it in work, in play, in medicine, in education, now are digital. So we talk about this internet of things where the world will be populated by digital devices that communicate without us even being part of the communication. The story I like to tell is it's not far away where people will find that their bathroom scale talks to their fridge, talks to the supermarket, which conspire to put you on diet and you don't even know it's happening. And that internet of things is, is about to hit us. Self-driving cars, wearable technology, these are not the stuff of science fiction. This is the world we'll be in in the next five or ten years. And then combining that with two other things, the two other things are content. Almost everything we touch, everything we use, we see is now in a digital form and then software, which is the glue that holds it all together. And between that hardware and software and content, we have such enormous space for innovation. And I think the next 20 years, the next 100 years, will be defined by digital technology and what it brings to the world, good and bad, but that's where we're heading. It's quite alarming that a city of the importance of Johannesburg hasn't got an innovation hub of note. And what we're doing in this space is we're creating what we're calling the Tsimolochong precinct, which is a Tswana word that means place of new beginnings. And we're creating a substantial innovation technology hub in Bramfontein that will be a bridge between Witz and its researchers and anyone else who can get into central Bramfontein who can come and participate in innovation. So that's really what this project is all about.